the United States is in the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Do we call the roll, please? Here. Ms. Wozniak? Here. Mr. Tepper? Here. Ms. Dickman? Here. Mr. Dzinski? Here. Ms. Davis? Here. Here. Uh, item number one, or approval of the minutes from 6-2-20 regular town board meeting. I take a motion to that effect. Moved. Second. Any comments, questions, any changes? Almost verbatim, so she asked me to proof them, and I don't know if I can remember till the next day sometimes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we know you're getting old. I know. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Item number one is approval for renewal of e code maintenance agreement at $1,195. Maintain a motion to that effect. Moved. Second. That's the general code. This is an annual thing we do. Any discussion? Just one thing. I knew Lincoln sent an email about they're not providing us with printed copies. Is this the same? It is. Um, they will eventually provide us with copies. Oh, okay. It's just, just because of the Catherine situation and their right of stuff. And I know Casey uses this um, on my behalf, or the land use committee's behalf, regularly. So. All right. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. Items two and three. We had three more trash hauler licenses come in and been approved by Lynn. So what I'd like to do is make one motion uh, to approve trash hauler licenses for Chuckett haulers, Butler disposal, Syracuse haulers, Morgan trash disposal, and dependable disposal. Entertain a motion to that effect. I'll make that. Second. Any discussion? What was the third one? It was Syracuse Holler, Morgan, and Dependable. Dependable. Any discussion? Well, as long as there have been no complaints against any of them. No. I see, I see that. No reason not to approve them. No, we haven't had any complaints in a few years. So. Yeah. Pat, have you had any problems done in your area? <laughs> not that I'm aware of at the moment, anyway. Okay. Okay. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number four is the speed limit reduction request for Van Buren Road. Um, I emailed you all. Uh, Mr. Weston's, um, he got the email, a map uh, that shows how many, 13 times the speed changes or something in there. Um, he sat in his front yard for half an hour and did kind of a traffic study, uh, unscientific units. But uh, he thinks uh, with all these changes and all the um, truck traffic, especially down in his area, he's south of Peck Road between there and Brickyard, uh, he would like to see his area reduced. He's at 50, he's the only area on the road that's 55 miles an hour. So, um, you know, I talked with him outside there the other day when he stopped, and um, I think it's valid that it should be looked at. I don't know if they've looked at that particular section. I know they've looked at other sections of Ambier Road, uh, but uh, might not hurt to have, have the state do a review of that and, and go from there. So I'd entertain a motion to send this on to state DOT and county DOT uh, to request a speed limit reduction request for have a look at all of Ambier Road in the town of Ambier. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Any more discussion? So this is different from the last board meeting. We had a different yeah. speed reduction. And it's typically difficult to keep, get these approved. Is that correct? Some that we didn't think would get approved did. And one that we thought was a slam dunk that would get approved didn't. So you never know. So do these residents realize it is a... I told them. I said, process. it's out of our hands. It's not the town's decision. It's state DOT. I, and I told them just what I just said. Some we thought were slam dunks, they didn't pass, and some we didn't think would ever pass, did. And does it benefit the town at all for the reduction? Well, other than if somebody gets caught speeding uh, when they come before the justice court, it might. <laughs> I think uh -oh. if they can 
consistency isn't very fair. I mean, when the change is due on the 13th time in like three and a half miles. Well, that's what I looked at too. But the truck we, had, truck said, we have school crossings and all kinds of different zones. Now that I that the road goes through. But I think it could be maintained at a lower speed and uh, and taken a lot of that uncertainty out of it. Well, the very state and the county determine the new speed limit? The state will. The county just has to sign off to allow the state to run the review. But it really, no difference. When, when you get in the middle section here, yeah, but, uh, it's 35 all the way because they can set their own speed limit because they have a police department. We don't, so we have to go to the state. Yeah. So it's 35 all the way. Yes. So I mean, is there ever a situation where we want to just not, you know, decline off offering to set the response? We 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 have. I can remember a couple of times since I've been here that we we've just said, look, we tried this ten years ago. And there hasn't been anything new in the area, so we're not going to bother. And they accepted it. Yeah. But the driveways are all close together for forty to have And when they say this changed. You see the signs up, watch out for motorcycles. A lot of people don't even pay attention to it. Yeah. That's dangerous. The other thing, you got an asphalt plant in the area now, too, and he's he's running up and down through there quite a bit. So. A lot of truck traffic down on the road. Right. So that, that could have an impact, just the asphalt. Right. I need to look into it. And where it says 45, people are going 55. So oh, yeah. where it says 35 going into Camillus. I mean, you have to really slam on the brakes to make sure you're at 35 because they do uh, patrol that area. Yeah. So. I'm all for the reduced speed limit just to mm -hmm. be careful of accidents and to be more careful. Of well, we, we can send it, doesn't mean it's going to get approved. Right. So, no, but I want to thank him for his attention. And yeah. Detail. On I appreciate that a lot that yeah. the residents take an account that. Yeah. Really put a lot People of are speeding and it's a danger and right. bringing it to our attention. Okay, any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number five is approval of renewal of annual software maintenance agreement with Business Automation Services, BAS, for clerk software at $1,830. Entertain a motion to that effect? Moved. Second. Something we do every year, and she's got to have it to run her office. So, it's not much. How close did this come to the estimate the budget? It's exact. Huh? It's exact. Exact. So, they didn't change. No, they no, they let us know. Uh, oh, okay. So, it's not a guess. Thank you. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. I have a penciled in number six, authorized disposable, disposable of junk swing line shredder DX 20 19 from the Justice Board. Motion to that effect? Moved. Second. He said it's junk and need to get rid of it. So. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, that's all I have for regular agenda items. Uh, Council and Committee reports and comments. I'm at. I have emailed our files rep that is doing the engineering for the installation of Village Green condos two and three. I've not yet heard back from them. So again, I'll keep keep on. And I, I know I have this phone for someplace, so I'll get that. Uh, and then last. Was it June 4th, we had a land use committee meeting. Um, and Richie Dino from the law firm was here. He went over his comments as compared to what we had had in the draft. Uh, basically, we took some stuff out. We rearranged some information. And he's looking at one uh, section of it to see if it should stay or go. Uh, I did send out a revised draft today with the changes made. So we are moving along pretty well. So probably won't be too long before we can submit it as an introduction. Anything else? You yeah. sent a draft to who? The land use committee. Oh, and when, when are you going to send a draft to the board? When the land use committee okay. puts it ready to go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, nothing else? No, sir. Okay. Um, Wendy? Um, just, I just want to give a 
shout out to the staff again they did a great job with this whole COVID thing and trying to um, social distance and keep the services running for the town they did a great job and now we're back 100 percent and hopefully businesses as usual around here and under your leadership thought it was Fantastic. So that's shout, shout out again. The staff is great. They're still going on site. I haven't seen anybody, only the telephone guy. It's not normally in the building. Everybody else has been meeting them outside. Jason and I held a meeting outside last week mm -hmm. with two guys. Um, you know, I had John bring down a couple of picnic tables so we could have meetings out back if we need to if the weather's good. You know, so it, it has been working good and they, they have done well. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Howard. No comment. Darcy. Okay. Doug. Uh, just real quickly that some residents might notice that on Village Boulevard South, from the circle going all the way to Route 48 at Global Savings Bank, uh, we're doing work on both lanes of that, uh, trying to replace as many catch basins that are bad and any cross culverts that are bad before they get paid. So it's uh Going to be kind of a little bit of a mess for a couple of weeks while we get those all taken care of. But the idea is to do all the repairs and save it, and then hopefully not have to touch it and save the nice clean riding, riding surface for many years to come. So just bear with us. Please pay attention to the tones because they're blocking off by the new catch basins because we're leaving that down a little bit. The paved right to it be smooth. So just be careful. Take your time. Go slow and keep your keep aware of your surroundings, and hopefully have a nice new road surface here in a couple of weeks. Doug, are you going all the way down to 48? Yes. Yep. We're going right from just up on the circle, it's about 100 feet up on the circle. Yep. All the way to 48, both ways. That's doing more with less. Yep. Yeah. It's a, uh, the pavement this year is a, uh, I don't know if it's an all time low, but it's definitely lower than the pants, but it's sort of trying to take advantage of it. Get some, you know, so I don't want to tell you what I remember. <laughs> Can I ask you to take a look at the catch basin that is actually, and maybe you're doing it, it's right outside the parking lot of Pastas on the way towards the Village Green office, the apartment office. That flooded, that's flooded quite a few times with the torrential rains we've had. There actually isn't one there. There's one in the yard. Right. Um, that had a tough time getting to it. That is actually, we have that in for that whole section, the circle all the way from here is in for the uh, grant money they were trying to get from the state. Um, and that's part of that whole drainage thing for that. Okay, thank you. Can I ask Doug a question? Uh, Mrs. Dickman would like to ask a question. Go ahead, Pat. Um, I'm just wondering, as far as the other roads that are scheduled, for example, in Harbor Heights, I've been asked if we have any idea when the paving of those some remaining streets are going to be done, or the uh, yes. coating. That and Sun Metals are both getting a uh, single course micropave. And as of yet, the vendor is not giving me a date. They had originally thought end of June, early July. But um, I and then probably they're going to stick pretty closely to that, being that the weather has been relatively decent lately. Uh, but I, you will, they will all be getting a notice, a uh, handwritten notice, uh, or at least a, a mailer to them, uh, all the people that are affected. Um, letting them notify when it'll be happening. Okay, and remind me once that's done how long you have to stay off of it so people have to park like down the end of the street or something? Yes, for micropave, it's one of the longer processes. Um, it depends upon uh, weather dramatically. A day like today, it would be three and a half, four hours. Uh, a day that has a little bit more humidity or not as much sun might be as long as five to six hours. No, but it's not overnight or days or anything. No, no, it's a, you, you can definitely always get on it that same day. Okay, and are our guys going to help with the flagging again, or? No, not for that. That is a uh, turnkey process. The vendor takes takes care of all of that for us. Okay, thank you. Anything else, Doug? That's it. Okay, um, my comments. We're now allowed to have twenty five people. You can see the room set up. Uh, about as maximum as we can do. Um, so we'll get back to kind of regular meeting next time. Public can come in. It'll be the first 25 people to show up. <laughs> then we'll have to turn them away. Oh, there'll be a waiting line. No, I'm, I don't. I'm, I, I, I can always be optimistic, right? 
And um, uh, I want to announce that on June 23rd, town operations here in Town Hall are going to be closed. That's uh, primary day. The Board of Elections is taking the building over and they're going to do all the disinfection and everything. And um, we felt it was best interest of the town employees not to have the building open and be subjected to uh, a patrol of people coming in uh, and possible ramifications that could come with that. So we are going to be closed for town operations on June 23rd. Um, the mini bid I received this morning and ordered the truck this afternoon. The cost of the truck without the local um, items that will be added to it is $26,571.30. And the last meeting, there was some discussion about Dark Skies technology for Trey Brooks new street lights. Um, I did contact uh, National Grid. The, uh, they have been using Dark Skies technologies for several years now. So everything they put in, all the retros we did are dark, dark skies technology. Everything new is dark skies technology. So good. That's the thing there. Uh, that's all I have. Citizens comments. Anyone wish to address the board? Yeah, I would like to. <clears throat> Go ahead. I see all you guys. Um, Thanks for checking on the lights, Claude. I really appreciate that. That's uh, that's just good news, um, and that I really do appreciate that because I do uh, astronomy and take my telescope out around, and it's a it's a nice thing to know that uh, all the new stuff is that way. And I also wanted to support the uh, checking of the speed limits on Van Buren. Um, it is kind of strange the number of speed changes. I can never figure out some of those sections how fast I'm supposed to go, so I stay on the safe side. Um, it's interesting that on the Camilla stand, it's all 35 because they patrol it. Um, it's a bit of a long road. It's a major road through the town, and um, hopefully the state will come back with some sensible uh, changes on that. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Andy. Uh, anyone else have some comments? Pat, you got anything? Nope. Thank you, though. Okay. Jason is not here. Kevin? Nothing. Okay. Entertain a motion to adjourn to July 7th at 7 p.m. Moved. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We stand adjourned. Thank you for chiming in with us.